Which countries in Asia have the most European admixture? I bet that you have the wrong idea. This ancient European admixture in Asia stems from Bronze Age corded ware Indo-Europeans who were nomads and migrated to southern Russia and Kazakhstan. They spoke Proto-Indo-Iranian languages and formed Sintashta and Andronovo cultures. These Asians have most of their admixture. Surprisingly, West Iranics and most of Indians who speak the languages derived from these people are only in the fifth place, as they average between 10 and 20% of that ancestry. At number four are Central Asian Turks and Pashtuns, who average between 20 and 30% of this ancestry. Yes, Kazakhs have more of Indo-European admixture than Persians and most Indians, even if it sounds odd on the surface. Opening at number three are North Indian groups such as Roars and Haryana Jats. They stand out from average Indians by having between 30 and 40% of this steppe admixture. The second place goes to East Iranic groups such as Tajiks, Pamiris, and Yagnobis. Not only did they retain the languages closest to the ones spoken by Sintashta and Andronovo cultures, but they also retained between 40 and 50% of their admixture, and the people in Asia with most of Andronovo ancestry are the people that live in the same lands that they lived, such as Finno-Ugrians and Turks of the Volga-Ural area. Ethnicities like Bashkirs, Tatars, Chuvash, and Udmurt carry between 50 and 65% of Sintashta ancestry, with Udmurts also having the highest percentage of ginger people in the world. 